Today is actually the final day of a five-day workshop where we have a, a, a group coming together uh, to look at and replicate uh, gourd banjos, historic gourd banjos from images in art, uh, paintings, early paintings from the 19, 18th century, and etchings from the 18th century. So this whole history of our country and of, of the Americas is depicted or kind of embodied in in this instrument, and which is we don't we we are kind of unaware of it's a, this thing that's gone back and forth and back and forth, and it you know embodies the melting pot of America. And through the horror of slavery, their their culture was kind of stripped from them. So um, languages were mixed, uh, l uh, families were uh, you know uh, split. So one of the things that became the intersection between these peoples that had a connection to sound and music, it became kind of a language that they could all unify under. It's kind of a solidarity and, and, and express their uh, reality through music. And the banjo is actually an, an amalgamation of African instruments, uh, basically a gourd or a calabash um, skin stretched over uh, a gourd shaped with a stick or a flat stick and then strings and that sound is has this very human uh, organic sound that accompanied, accompanied their singing which would be telling the story of their their situation it's, it's satisfying because you don't you they've never done this and i and they look to me like how do you do this i go you know i we are learning each step of the way the satisfaction is in seeing it completed and then saying, you know, now maybe what if I try this? And the, and the final satisfaction, which we're still kind of struggling with, is to hear it. And we really uh, don't know how to play it because it's, it's a little different from a, a uh, contemporary banjo. It's, it's a very different sound. It's a very different action. So it's very exciting. And I think this subject and this way of looking at this subject, which is not an easy subject, is something that needs to be talked about. Definitely, we, we, we think we are resolved in our, our, our history, and we are not. Uh, it's, it's an ongoing, right on the front line subject today, and looking at that reality through something like a, a, a banjo, and having this conversation and recognition come up through making is a real positive way of addressing it, especially, I think, putting young kids, we have, uh, it can be done all age groups, and all age groups need to talk about it, you know, and all backgrounds, and so it's a great connector into something, into a subject that's tough to talk about, or tough to even think about, and it helps you uh, rec uh, at least become aware and have positive conversations or conversations. So that's where it's important.